Abacha loot. <laughs> Abacha loot. Up to this day, after so many years, because I remember I was still very young, living under my parents, eating free food. I just live it anyhow, but I remember when Abacha died. Huh? I remember I wasn't politically aware, of, but I remember seeing my father really, really happy. I remember my village people were yes, just we were all happy, jubilating. I was like, what happened? They say Abacha, Abacha. I don't even know what happened. If Abacha was good, if Abacha was bad, if Abacha was doing this or doing that. But what the record I have in my in my head up to today during that time was that I saw my village people really, really happy and they were jubilating. Bike men were were driving rough in the town just to celebrate a man's death. Then few years later I started being aware, you know, reading much about it, knowing the reason why people were jubilating, jubilating and all those things. But one of the things that concern me the most is the Abacha loots. After many years, Nigeria are still recovering Abacha loot. Abacha wife told Nigerians that, hey, you know, get us, our family go poor, rich, poor like Dangote. Chai. They say, you know, get us, our family go poor, rich, say they go poor, rich. Aliko Dangote. Now they are just tracing Abacha loot through Abacha's name. What about the one made their use became name collect or born children name collect or wife name collect? All those ones they carry go. I'm just saying, no, I, I'm not aware if he used became name collect money or anything. You know, I'm just saying, you know, this, <laughs> but. All the same, though, recently, as of yesterday, it was announced that France, France, want to return 150 million US dollars a bachelor loot to Nigeria government. 150 million US dollars a bachelor loot to Nigeria government. So far, so good. The money that have been recovered so far so good are from a bachelor's loot. The money recovered from a bachelor since 1998 when he died. To date, to note, as of last year, 2022, the money has amounted to 3.6 billion. So, plus 150 million. 3.6 billion dollars. So, dollars plus. 150 million. Add that, that is now 3.750 billion. 3.750 billion. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Ah, Abacha. No wonder the wife said, no matter how poor they become. They will not be as poor as Dangote. Go and check the correct Dangote network. You see, they don't go feel poor or rich Dangote. Go and check Dangote correct network. You see why I will never agree for military regime. <laughs> military regime, they can loot or you cannot do nothing about it. If you talk, hmm, you must, you might just pass their goal. That is why I do not really like military regime. If you talk, you might just pass their goal. 150 million. Now, let's go to the real question. How are they going to spend this money? The question that we have been asking Nigeria government since 1998 up to last year, 2002, they were still recovering. And up to this year again, they recovered this year. They recovered this year. Sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't have the money they recovered this year as a January thereabout. They I think they recovered twice this year before this 150. I've not included that or oh. I've not included that. So I think so far so good. I think the amount recovered, let us say four billion US dollars. 
So now the question Nigerians are asking the government, now always asking the government, how are you guys going to spend the money? Will this money be re-looted? That's the question. Will it be re-looted? You know, when you uh, recover a stolen item, other person will steal the item. So, is that the scenario that we're going to witness? Or there is going to impart, is going to impart us? And France returning this money now, what are they asking for a return? <laughs> That's one another question again. What is France asking a return now? Because they cannot they return money without a bed. And what you now give us? We return this one. And the money is still very, very many. There are still very, very many. Hi, Nigerians say they really steal and they are still stealing. They got their boss. Now let's go back to Chinobu Yacht. Remember that ship we were talking about, the Lozuro ship that the government wanted to buy. Nigeria raised a land and said, What do we need ship for? We are crying for hunger, we are crying over hunger and so many other things. You guys want to go buy ship? Guess what, guys? Before you started crying, eh, it was already too late. You know why? The Nigeria government already, they've already delivered the luxurious yacht. So, <laughs> it's left for them to pay. So, there is no going back. But however, why did they now come back to tell us that they have removed the budget and added it to student loan? Who is deceiving us? Who is deceiving us? You guys came out, told us that there is no more budget for that super yacht. That you guys have removed it and added it to student loan. Right now, we are asking, who is deceiving us? Who is deceiving us? They came for the budget defense. We saw that amount. We queried it, actually. And the clarification we got from them is that this is like a committed cost that they need to pay. Because most of these products that you see or, or items that you find in the budget are dollar-based while our budget is in Naira. And that's why you see the prices of things or even the budget escalating because the rate of uh, the exchange rate has gone up. From the estimated seven, uh, I think seven hundred and fifty. Now it's about eight hundred. So you can see the difference. I mean, four hundred and thirty-five. Well, the budget was predicated on four hundred and 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 and, and thirty-five or thereabout. But now it's uh, it's about eight hundred and something, even at the uh, uh, bank uh, bank rate. So when we ask those questions, the the uh, Navy provided explanation, especially clarifying that this is not a new item, so to say, because I know that the president, by his nature, is not a luxurious person, so I don't think he will uh, go for that. But anyway, we felt that at this time, that $5 billion going for that is inadequate. And in the House of Rep, they felt this, uh, you know, different, and they felt that that should completely be removed and added to the um, five billion that is provided for 5.6, I think, for the student loan, which is one of the critical uh, things in the supplementary budget. And as you rightly said, we are harmonizing on that. And um, the Navy also believes that that is not their area of priority. But the thing is because you have a committed cost and it has foreign uh, exchange implication, and they felt that the, 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 the commitment uh, has to be met. Especially when I understand that the presidential yacht has already been delivered. Oh, okay. So, so, so for purpose of clarity, it's already so, um, signed, sealed, and delivered. It's just to pay the money. Yeah, it's already been delivered, so they are still deliberating on it. That's the uh, the entire issue now. <laughs> what did they not deliver? Now you know, no one to make make the pay for. And you guys are quickly removing it. Why are you removing it now? They don't already deliver her. No, I know one. Okay, when they deliver her, who they use her? What is the purpose of it? That is who. What is the purpose of that Lord Zero yet? Can we know the purpose, please? Please. Can we can we know the purpose of it? Then guys, uh tragic. 
It's a private jet convening Minister of Power. Adeboye, Ade Labu, has crashed, landed near Ibadan Airport, or Oyo State. You know, we do not understand, we do not know the gravity of how serious the incident is. We do not know the gravity of how serious the incident is. But what they are telling us is that it has crash landed. We do know when you say crash landed, eh, that means maybe, maybe it kind of like uh, sustain some minor crash. But when you say crash, not landed, uh, that means I don't think there's there should be any survivor. Uh, but this one crash landed near to Ibadan Airport. So may uh, I wish them all the best, guys, and I pray. See, nobody ever want to wish, no matter how how that person is, whether it's part of the problem or not. Eh? When it comes to plane, eh, please no wish anybody bad though. Because one person they enter plane, <laughs> now two now two place you deal. It's like when somebody is entering into a a uh, a hospital to do a major surgery, and you know you are in two places. You don't know if you will come out or if you will not come out. So die just how it is. So nobody should laugh. Nobody should wish anybody bad. You know, I pray it's okay. And every other person in that uh, plane definitely are okay.